Hello my cat recruits, my name is Ben. In this video, I'm going to show you how to boost the performance of Gary's mod and make the game run faster. So let's go. Now before we get started, you want to make sure you have Half-Life 2 and Counter-Strike Source installed on your computer if you haven't already. It should be obvious to anyone familiar with Gary's mod. You also want to have Notepad++ installed to edit a CFG file later in this video. Okay, now, you want to go into your Steam library, locate Gary's mod, then right click, click on properties, go into betas tab, and then you want to select this option, x86 64 chromium plus 64 bit binaries. This will help make Gary's mod run very fast. Go into Installed Files tab, click on Browse. This will take you to the Gary's mod folder. Right click on hl2.exe, then click on Properties. In the Compatibility tab, you want to disable full screen optimizations and then click on Override High DPI Setting Behavior. You also want to do the same thing for the gmod.exe file as well. Now we want to enable multi-core rendering, but because we can't find it in the advanced video settings of Gary's mod, we'll have to enable it through the console, or a better option is to make a configuration file for the settings. If you're still in the Gary's mod folder, Go back to that folder. Now, go into this Gary's Mod folder, then the CFG folder, and you want to find autox.cfg file. If you can't find it, just create it and make sure it is called autox.cfg. Once you have the file open, copy and paste these commands into the file. Once you do that, just save and exit the file. Okay, we have one last thing to do. If you still have Gary's Mod properties open on Steam, you want to go into the launch options. Copy and paste these commands into this box. The last part is very important so it can launch our auto exec file. You also want to click on the drop down menu to launch Gary's Mod in 64 bit mode. Now you can finally launch Gary's Mod. Now, once the game has loaded up, you want to go into options to configure some settings. I will leave this screenshot up for a list of settings you can go through for the advanced configuration tab. There are some settings you can set to high and some to low. My computer is powerful enough to handle these settings set to high. That should be everything. So let's try everyone's favorite map, Construct. And as you can see, I'm getting some pretty good performance here. My FPS goes over 200 and sometimes 300. Now that is super fast. I might crash into that brick wall. Ooh, I went right through it. That's so cool. Let's do it again. Wow, that is amazing. Now let's spawn some Pokemon allies and some disassembly drones. Alright, so let's spawn some Combine Soldiers. Oh dear, uh, I think the game crashed. Wow. Alright, so anyways, I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please give it a like and subscribe to become a mic kit recruit so I can make more types of videos like this. And don't forget to comment down below. I hope you had a good rest of your day or night. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.